Louis from my home side Chelsea, three 0 defeat here at St James's Park. Not the best preparation for the FA Cup final next week. No, but first of all, what I do want to say is well done. Oh, cheers, mate. Much better than we were today. Um, look, uh, FA Cup for me, that that wasn't what was important. Look, winning a trophy is great. Don't get me wrong. I'd, I'd love I'd love to win trophies, and I think any fan would. It sounds really depressing because this is what everyone took the piss out of Arsenal for for months and years. <laughs> I wanted that top four trophy. I wanted I wanted to be able to say we're, we're still in Champions League. But hopefully, look, Europa League football is not good. This is our first ever campaign in it. Mm. But realistically, like hopefully the board look at this and go, right, OK, we've we, we gone wrong in the summer. They didn't sign the players that they should have done. They didn't back Conte. Um, and then that's cost them. But to be fair to, to Conte as well, he should have bucked his ideas up as well. I mean, I, we all got that he wasn't getting what he needed. Mm. We, we understood that. And when he kept saying it for the first couple of months, like, okay, cool, we get it. Just do what you can with it. It's when he's been saying it every single press conference. You get a point going, you know what, mate? You get paid £100,000 a week. Just get your job done. Yeah. I don't care anymore. Um, look, this, that, that team is it's the fifth best, fifth best team in the league. I think that's the correct <laughs> position where we finished. But... It also won the Premier League last year. He coached them very well. I was going to ask, how did it go from being the champions of England to being, I would say, the Champions League? I, I, I genuinely don't know. I just think, look, he doesn't want to be there. And his system got sussed out. His mm. game management was poor. 3-0 mm. down, and you only make a substitution after that, in the 75th minute. Got players like Willian sitting on the bench. World-class players. Yes, he had, had Willian on the bench. Rudiger wouldn't, I think. He, the fact he kept Mo Salah, the best player in the Premier League, in his pocket... I think I don't. I, why would you not start him? Um, why would you not start Willian? Why would you not? Why would you? Well, obviously, uh, Giroud is the perfect strike for us at the minute. He's playing really well. Why did you go to a system which doesn't work? It, it doesn't have enough width because your wing backs are either going up and down. And if there's it's, it's, you're playing like four four three four four two, and you was at four three three. Yeah, yeah, four four one one. Yeah. So you had you had wingers as well versus you had two basically uh, a fullback and a winger versus a wing back. Mm. It just it's completely outmatched. It doesn't work. Mm. We were too we were too narrow and. He only made the choice to go. He went, excuse my friend. Oh, shit. Is it 3-0? 75 minutes. <laughs> oh, fuck it. We'll put him on now. So why? 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 You just need to have the mentality and going against the win stuff. Whatever football club it is, I was saying in my review, look, whether you're Chelsea, Newcastle or Shrewsbury fucking town, look, you, 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 pull, the, you pull a shirt on, you play with pride. Mm. Have some pride in what you do. He, he, he's not the same man that we saw at Chelsea last year. He, he stands and he just... He stands on the touchline, doesn't do anything. He unified the club last year. Celebrating with the fans, exactly. I think I saw him running about like a madman. Exactly. Now he's just not really caring. No, exactly. He just he just doesn't care. And for me, that's that's just a sign of look. If you don't want to be a mate, just go, mm. just go. I'd, I'd, I'd rather I'd rather see our under 18s coach Jody Morris be given the opportunity because I know he cares. He he, he played he has he's played for Chelsea. He came through the youth academy. He worked hard. Give him an opportunity. He'll be blood some youngsters. Would you take Rafa back? No. Rafa gets a lot of stick from Chelsea fans, but at the end of the day, he's, yeah. he's took a championship side in the top ten of the Premiership. He, he has. However, Rafa Benitez uh, and Chelsea fans just don't work. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Mm. Um, it, was, it, it was poisonous mm. when he was at Chelsea. Look, I, he won us the European League, but I still don't like him. I still don't like him. What's your view on Newcastle then, as an outsider looking in? The, the city itself or the, or the club or both? A bit of both. I love it here. Gen <laughs> genuinely. Mainly the club. No, the club, look, best fans in the league. Best fans in the league. Without a show. That, that was the loudest home fans I've ever heard. Mm. You, you know, it's, I was speaking to some other Newcastle fans. It's like a fishbowl. Everybody cares. And you go into that stadium and it was absolutely superb. You know, as, as a club as well, the fact that you are in a state of, I guess, limbo, mm. where you've got Mike Ashley not selling to someone who wants to buy the club, you know, to, to basically have no money and finish 10th in the, in the Premier League. You know, that is, that's insane. Um, so yeah, I'd, honestly, like just, just credit to Newcastle. Honestly, credit and and the city itself. What a great city! Honestly, it's absolutely fantastic here. And I'm definitely going to be coming back. It's Next great. One. Cheers, man. Thank you. Cheers, man.